All right, guys, so we're back with part six of the LS Swap Snowcat. And what we're gonna do today is we're gonna soak this whole thing down with uh, engine degreaser, which we've already done. We're letting that soak. We're about to take it back outside and give it one more good power washing. We're gonna let it dry overnight, and then we're gonna come back in, get the inside painted, and then once we have that done, we're gonna tape that off, and then we're gonna paint the outside. So I'm sure you guys might have a guess of what color I'm probably gonna go with, but until then, you'll have to wait. this thing up and drain it out good. Hey guys, so we're back out here today and we're gonna actually get the inside channel of this thing painted. And like I said before, we're gonna be using a bed liner material. So we're actually using a, a uh, home spray gun instead of an actual paint gun because you don't want to run that abrasive stuff through a nice paint gun. Uh, we will be using the nicer paint gun for the exterior and uh, that's going to be getting painted tomorrow. So there'll be a lot of content in this video and you'll get to see a whole lot of this thing starting to take shape. All right, guys, so as you can see, we got this thing completely taped off. We've sanded the outside. Uh, we've cleaned up the spindles and everything, so those will all be good for paint. Um, and the paint we're laying down is an enamel, uh, single stage semi-gloss, so that will make things go pretty smoothly, and it's very durable paint. So I guess it's about time for you guys to see what color we're gonna go with. Uh, we just gotta wipe it down with some acetone real quick, and then we'll be ready to start spraying. So stay tuned. All right, guys, so it's time to finally start laying down some color on this thing. And you guys are gonna get to see first what color we're going with. And I'm gonna do a little test swatch right here just so you can see, all right? So here we go. Olive drab green. Did you have any doubt? So we just finished painting two coats on this. I think that's all it's probably gonna need. But uh, here in a few minutes, we're gonna take the uh, plastic off so you can see what it looks like with the bed liner in the green two-tone. And uh, another thing that actually happened today is the engine came in, which is sitting right there. And that's for another video, but uh, it is a six liter LS and we're gonna be doing cam intake, some other stuff to it. So um, we'll, detail that more in upcoming videos, but um, here in a few minutes, we'll take that plastic off and let you see what the whole thing looks like. All right. 
All right, guys, the plastic came off. It looks really good. So here's what we got. This is the exact same paint formula that I used on the LSX Willys Jeep. So of course I decided to stick with something I was familiar with and a color that I like, but the sheen is great. It's a semi-gloss enamel. Inside all bed liner. As I said, the engine arrived today. So we're gonna start cracking on that as soon as the rest of the parts show up and we will be able to actually start assembling it. But everything's pretty much gonna be two-tone black and green. You can see there the rear end is massive in this thing, but everything came out really sharp. All right, guys, so that is the end of episode six and episode seven will be coming much quicker than this one did. Uh, he finally finished with Harvest so we can start cracking on this thing hardcore now. But um, from all of us here at Racing and Randomness, me, Nick, thanks for following along on this build and please like, subscribe, and share. Until next time, guys, Racing and Randomness out.